One of the great things about uh, getting a quality template from Rocket Theme is that uh, there are many aspects about the template that are easy to customize. And uh, perhaps one of the very first things that you should do uh, when you want to take a kind of get a feel for the basic settings that you can start with is to go to the Kirigami demo site and it's accessible at the Rocket Theme website. Just navigate to the Kirigami template and then uh, click the demo button. And here um, under the preset styles, you can uh, click through different presets and get a quick feel for uh, the different types of basic settings that you can select. Notice how the background changes. Notice that some are kind of a dark theme and some are a light theme. This is still really a, a light theme, but it gives you a nice crumpled paper look in the background. Now we're moving more into some of the darker options. And even if you have not chosen to go with the Kirigami template, uh, any of the rocket theme templates that you uh, might be experimenting with will have this same capability where you can try out some of the presets uh, at the demo site. Or for that matter, if you have uploaded the sample data with your rocket launcher, all of these same options are available as long as you have your temporary data online. Soon we'll be deleting all of this data. And so that's, that's why it's good to know that you can always go to the demo site to discover some of these things. There's also a lot of good resource material at the demo site uh, on each of the templates that you can get from Rocket Theme. So that gives you an idea of uh, some of the presets that you can start with. And now to go and actually make some of these changes, let's log into our back end. And uh, let's go to, under the Extensions tab, let's go to Template Manager. And here, find the Kirigami template, the default, and the, the, mas the one that has the master beside it. Click on that. If you're not seeing these other two, don't worry, they're showing up because I've already been playing around with the settings here. I don't think they were there to start with. Okay, uh, here you, on the first uh, tab, you get an overview of uh, the Kirigami uh, template as well as the, the engine that's underneath the hood that drives all of the rocket theme templates, the gantry system. And they've recently just updated uh, to the 4.0 system. And um, when it uh, is turned red like this, it's letting you know that there's actually a new release of Gantry and that uh, perhaps you should pick that up. And how you can do that is uh, just, let's close out of this, go up to Extensions Manager and go to the Update tab. And you'll see that Gantry is one of the extensions that needs to be updated. And you could click the uh, rock pad as well if you like and then hit the Update button. And now when we go back to our template manager, we see it's a nice blue and uh, it is up to date. Now inside this template manager is really a whole control panel just for your template. And uh, so as you tab through, uh, you will see that there are lots of opportunities to make unique customization for your particular site. And uh, let's start with the style tab you'll see the first option is the body style and uh, one of your choices is to go light uh, and basically give you a white background for your articles content or you can choose a dark setting. Our next uh, setting to change here is what's called the accent color and if we went to the home page of uh, our website as it is currently displayed with the sample data that we brought in uh, as we moved our mouse around, we'll see that uh, this is what they're talking about with the accent color, the kind of green area here. You'll notice that there's green up here. If we found a page that had web links on it, um, I believe that the links are also that green color. All of these buttons. This is the accent color they're talking about in the template manager.
So if we were to change that, uh, maybe something kind of like a nice blue, for example, and save that up here on the Save button. If we were to go view our site now, we can see that now all of our buttons are that nice blue color. All of our links. So that's uh, how you can change your accent color very easily. Just click open, uh, move your sliders up and down to find something close to what you might like to try. And then uh, hit the X button, hit a save, and go take a look. And uh, so you see that's an easy fix. I think I'd probably like something a little brighter if I was to go with that orange. And uh, then your next option is to change the main background to your website, uh, kind of the texture part of your website, this area in here. Currently, it is set uh, on this paper. And uh, while that is interesting, you might uh, find it to, to be just a little bit too much. And uh, so we could try the gray paper. Save that and go take a look. And that's not quite so hard on the eyes. We might want to try that. There was another one that I think I kind of liked, and that was this uh, wall one. Let's see what that looks like. But you can try different backgrounds there and see if uh, you can get something that you like. And your ne next few options, you can choose to enable or disable uh, a, a unique uh, page loading transition. And uh, you can try it out and see if, see if it's something that you like, first of all. And then you need to decide whether or not it is slowing down your site for people who visit who might be on a slow connection. Uh, it might take just a little bit longer for them to actually get going on your website. But you can try it out. Web fonts, you have the uh, opportunity to work with the Google font directory. Uh, sometimes, again, that can slow down your site. And then also you have the opportunity to change uh, the main font settings of the site from the ones that have been selected or from your drop-down list, uh, one of the main uh, web fonts that uh, are typical of, of most websites today. In this particular template, I don't uh, particularly mind the Kirigami, uh, the ones that they've selected for that. So I think for now, at least, I'm going to leave it on Kirigami. Features, uh, logos. Right now we have uh, the Kirigami logo showing up here. Uh, this template makes it very easy to swap that out with your own logo. Uh, just switch it to custom. And uh, then you can select an image, uh, either from one that you've already uploaded into your rock gallery. Uh, we haven't done that yet, so you could go to Media Manager and uh, do a select. And even if you don't have your logo uploaded yet to your media directory, you can go down here, hit the Browse button, and that will take you to your computer where you can uh, navigate to where you have your logo and upload it. In an upcoming lesson, we're going to deal with logos in more detail, show you how you can make a, a quick text uh, logo, and then we'll come back to this part and uh, use this method to upload that uh, logo. Okay, you can choose whether or not to have the social buttons on. You'll notice over here you've got the opportunity to register your Facebook, your Twitter, your Google, and an RSS feed. And uh, here's where you can choose to have that on or off uh, and then put in your own data. Date, you can choose to show a date button or not. The font sizer. Here is an opportunity where you can let your visitor reset the font size. Uh, maybe if we saved this, we could see this. It's going to be in Utility B. And uh, you'll see it showing up over here. And uh, if you have uh, an audience that you know is uh, going to be heavy on seniors or vision impaired, then uh, this is maybe a nice feature to have on your website where people can uh, make adjustments as to how, how big their font is going to be. 
I think for now I'll leave it off. A login panel. Well, uh, if you know that your site is going to be a, a place where you're going to encourage people to become members of your site, to you know join, to uh, be able to have access to certain portions of the site that you don't want to necessarily open up to the general public, well, then it'll be great to, to turn this on and allow people to log in and uh, join your site. And again, uh, for all of these, you can choose uh, in exactly what position you want these to show up. Say you wanted the login to be in a sidebar. Well, you can make that change there. And if, and if we wanted to check out and see what that looks like, all we have to do is go up and save. And once you get the little message up here, you know you're good to go to look at the site. And now as we scroll down, we see that we have a member login button that people can uh, use to sign up to your site. Okay, uh, branding. This uh, is where you can turn on or off the rocket theme branding that uh, shows up on your site by default. So if you don't want their logo showing up on your website, uh, you can easily shut that off here with this button. But you probably do want to have some type of copyright for yourself. And here's where you can easily change that from what it comes by default designed by rocket theme well you can just go in and, and change that and if you want to use the copyright symbol uh, you can get that from your keyboard just hold down your alt key and on your number pad on your keyboard with your alt key down uh, punch in 0169 and then release your alt key and that gives you the copyright symbol and I've got one already here in memory so I'll just use that here, uh, the two top scroller, if you know that you're going to have a lot of articles that are long and that are going to get people way down to the bottom of your page, well, when they get down to the bottom, uh, this will there will be a little button that they can click to get them back to the top of the page very quickly. And uh, that can be nice to have. Uh, you can take a look at the design and uh, see if it's something that's going to work for you. In this case, it's not that obtrusive, so I think I'll probably leave it on for my purposes. Here is a place uh, where you can have uh, messages appear to your visitors uh, should they be trying to log in and they've got a login error, they're not giving the right password or whatever. Well, uh, this will flash to them an error message, and uh, here's where you can choose to have that on or off, and if you do have it on, what position on your website you'd like to place that message. And uh, Google Analytics, here's a, a great uh, easy way to link your website into the Google uh, Analytics system where you can monitor the web traffic to your site. This makes it very easy. It used to be quite uh, a hassle to, to add this code to all of the pages that you wanted Google to monitor. Well, here you can get your code for this site and uh, easily stick it in here and turn this on. And we'll, we'll do that in a, in a later tutorial. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at the menu tab. Here you can choose uh, the type of menu that you want to use, either the fusion menu or the split menu. And then you can choose which menu uh, that you want to use with, uh, say, the fusion menu system. And when we're talking about the fusion menu, we're talking about this menu at the top here, this is the fusion menu of the rocket theme system. And then you can also choose where you want to display this menu using this positioning uh, system here. Right now it's in the header position, but if you wanted to, you could bring that down and, and say put it in the main top position. Save that, and we'll see that our menu has now dropped down uh, below our, our message here. So you can see how easy it is to move whole elements around, uh, not only in the module manager that we were showing you in our last tutorial, but also in the templates manager. And there will be some duplication here. Uh, I'm sure that we would be able to position our menu also in the module manager as well. Some of this is new. Rocket Theme has just come out with a, a new version of Gantry, and this is the first time I've seen uh, many of these capabilities, these positioning capabilities, here in the Templates Manager. So this is, this is a good thing. I think this makes it a lot easier to position a lot of the elements than it uh, was in using the Module Manager. You can do this very quick. 
And uh, you could check out and see how you like uh, various uh, menu effects that you can choose from. Well, I say various. There's two. Slide and fade. I think I like that one. But uh, down here, there are a variety of different types of menu animation options that you could try. Okay, so you get an idea of how you can customize your site using the Templates Manager. The Layout uh, Manager allows you to control how many positions that you could have for each of the main positions. For example, if we were to go back to our Rocket Theme demo site and go to our module positions, this might help you visualize what we're talking about. This here is a representation of all of your 78 positions for this site. And uh, most of these first six uh, positions, the top header, feature, showcase, utility, all have six positions that you could place elements into. But you can customize uh, how many positions are going to be placed for each of these elements. You'll notice down here that there's only three available for content top and three are reserved for sidebar. Well, uh, in the same way, you could determine how many positions or, or columns would be allowed in any of these um, uh, main positions just by making adjustments here. And in the Advanced tab, uh, you have the opportunity to turn uh, some more things on or off. Right now, it looks like we're mostly on. Well, I think that that probably does it for this tutorial and uh, how you can customize the Kirigami template from Rocket Theme.